All right, we move, move to uh, my second day of my weekend of tournaments. This is a brand new tournament. I'm using a different list than I did yesterday. Uh, this one has three big blocks of knights, two, two units of Pegasus knights, and a, a Lord of the Killing Blow against large targets on a Royal Pegasus. So uh, let's see, going against Dark Elves. In the woods on the right, there's a unit of Shades with an Assassin that pops up first turn. Some Crossbowmen with a level 2 Sorceress. Uh, dark Riders with a Hydra right next to it. Behind the Dark Riders is a Noble on a Chariot, and behind that is a Lord on a Dragon. Then he's got Black Guard with a Noble, and I don't know what the Noble if he's the BSB or not. I'm pretty sure he is, and I'm pretty sure they have the Always Strike First. And there's some more Dark Riders. So I'm looking at the list, and obviously there's not a whole lot of units, some real big point sinks. My overall strategy is to throw my General at the Dragon, try to kill it, uh, throw cheap troops at the black guard to redirect them away from my important stuff, and otherwise just try to kill everything he has. I think my um, my skirmishing archers can weaken that hydra with their flaming arrows, and I don't know how to deal with the shades. So Pegasus knights, knights errant, knights of the realm, men at arms. Behind them, there we go. Behind them are five grail knights with a damsel. There's my lord and the Pegasus skirmishing bowmen, trebuchet on the hill, fast cav. Big block of knights errant, and more Pegasus knights. So, first turn. Swings his dragon from the middle over to my, closer to my flank. Moves the assassin with the shades up, and otherwise moves up as you can see. Uses his uh, dark riders to kill a fast cav. Takes his crossbowmen, dark riders on this side, and the shades, and the assassin. And um, kill two of my Pegasus knights. Luckily, he passes a panic test. But turn one, I take the remaining... Pegasus Knight, throw him at the fast at the Dark Riders there in the middle of the table. Otherwise, I, I move up, as you can see. I angle the Grail Knights over to this side, uh, just to kind of act as a reserve in case things go badly over there against the Shades. Um, use the Fast Cav to uh, try to redirect his Black Guard. Throw my Pegasus Knights way up around on his flank. Take my Bowman, shoot at his Hydra, do a couple wounds on him. That was kind of nice. And in combat, I kill one Dark Rider, and we all hold. So turn two, he, uh, he swings his dragon with the Lord all the way on my flank. I did point out to him that, that my general was not facing directly forward. If you can, really can't see it, but my, my base is, is angled such that I can see that dragon. But that was as far forward as he could fly. Uh, he knew when he landed there that he would, he would be within easy charge reach of my general. So anyway, you can see the movements. Dark Riders charge my fast cab, I flee. And that's kind of weird for me. I, I would like to counter charge the Dark Riders with my Knights Errant, but I don't really want to charge into the Black Guard unit. I kind of like that he angled the Black Guard unit, because um, that means he's not coming forward with them. So <laughs> uh, it's kind of in a conundrum what to do on that side of the table. So his, his uh, Dragon Breeze of my Knights Errant in... Uh, his shades shoot at it, and with all the shooting and everything, kills just a slew of them, and they decide to fail their panic test. Uh, Hydra breathes on my men-at-arms, even with his reduced strength, kills a bunch of them. And if you look at the, uh, the Knights Errant that used to be on the far right are now on the very far left, having fled through most of my lines. Uh, during combat, his Dark Riders... Uh, beat my uh, remaining Pegasus Knight and chase him down. So we get my turn two, and I finally get the charge with my general. Finally. <laughs> it's been looking forward to it. I think it's a great, great, I don't know if it's a great picture, but it's just two well-painted uh, models facing each other. I thought that looked pretty cool. I decide to ignore his, his Dark Riders, and I charge my Knight of the Realm unit into his Hydra. I'd like to take that thing out as quickly as I can. Um... I t I, over here, I decide not to charge my Knights Errant on the far left into the Dark Riders because, again, I didn't want to get into combat with his Black Guard. So I charge my Pegasus Knights in their rear, thinking that I would easily, easily beat him in combat. You can see my Fast Cav rallied, my Knights Errant rallied. Uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with how things are going. I was especially happy when my Lord got Killing Blow on his Dragon. So I get four attacks. I use the Tress of a Sword. So any given turn, I really should get three or four hits. I need a six to get Killing Blow. And so with three, you figure that's 50-50 odds. With four, I think it's 66% odds. But whatever it is, I've got a decent chance of getting it. 
I got three, and of the three, I rolled two sixes. <laughs> so, killed the dragon. That gives me 12 combat res plus outnumber. I mean, just just really put a hurting on him. He still put a couple wounds on my lord, or on my pegasus, whatever it was. But anyway, I was able to chase him down in a huge, huge victory on, on my right flank, getting that dragon off the table. Otherwise, you can see my knight's errant killed a hydra. Very, very pleased with that. My Pegasus Knights on the left, totally whiff. I only kill, with all those attacks, 10 attacks, I only killed one Dark Rider. So that was very unfortunate, because now the Black Guard's going to get a flank charge to my Pegasus Knights. So thrilled with the right, thrilled with the middle, very unhappy with what happened on the left flank.